So here are the eight women who will contest this final. We've mentioned Ruth Batia, and of course, perhaps the other name to look at there is Ariane Palskaite, who leads the list of entrants here, the only two-meter jumper in this field on this year's form. See her, the 19-year-old from Ukraine, the 2016 World Junior Bronze Medalist, Yulia Levchenko. Even younger, the 18-year-old Michaela Huber, the woman who beat her at those World Junior Championships, the gold medalist from the World Junior Championships and indeed the World Youth Championships in 2015. Is Ariane Palsaiti, who jumped that two meters at the end of January in Villanus. Palsaiti took the silver medal as well in Amsterdam last summer. One of the many new faces that we often see at these championships, Jossi Graumann from Germany. Now Morgan Lay deciding to concentrate on this event rather than go in the pentathlon. And she's made the final with a 190 jump. All these women cleared 190 in qualifying. And a simic from Croatia, the 2014 European Championships bronze medalist. Well, the list of accolades for this woman is a very long one, but she is the Rio 2016 Olympic Games champion, Ruth Batia. <laughs> There's the team behind her. And the eighth woman to be presented. Sixth at the last two European Indoor Championships, Oksana Okuna. We're looking at the teenage Ukrainian jumper who will be the first to start. And she gets proceedings underway. Yulia Levchenko, nicely over 1 meter 80. Very early stages in the competition. But what an age range there is. We're mentioning Vaitia, and I'm sure she doesn't mind. She's got used to being our age. But of course, we've got some of the very best young jumpers in the world. Levchenko here. Kruber, who's even younger, Morgan Lake, I mean, they're still juniors. Well, Morgan's just in her first year in the senior She is now, yes. I mean, you're so used to her being in the uh, <laughs> yes, junior exactly. ranks. Well, we've seen quite right. since she was about 14 yep. or 15. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just did the arithmetic, born. and Michaela Haruba is just a few months short of being half Batia's age. And there we see Haruba. Well, I think this is a phenomenal talent. I mean, she's cleared 195 outdoors last year which really does put her into the all-time list as far as the junior rankings is concerned. I think she's a great talent. So we saw her first at the World Youth Championships. Here's Ariane Palsite talking about her. Coming in quite early, really, for a two-meter jumper. She obviously wants to get a, a feel of the conditions. No problems there. Yes, I think the women would have worked out that there's no fundamental problems as far as the surface is concerned. We saw some good jumping in both the men's and the women's qualifying. But it can get busy in the center of the arena, not just at the moment, but perhaps a little bit later on when we're getting towards the 1 meter 92, 1 meter 94 heights, and that can cause distractions quite often as we look at. Jossi Graumann, second in the German Championships this year. As you say, the German champion, Young Fleisch, didn't make the grade. Ah, but she was nicely over as well. Well, Graumann just missed out on a medal at the last European Under-23 Championships when she was fourth. 
So she's got a little bit of experience at major competitions, but this is the biggest stage she's ever competed on. Now Morgan Lay, very, very talented. High jumper in addition to her multi-event skills. Well, it's a bit clumsy. She got away with it. Took off rather a long way away from the bar. Just touched it with her heels, with her Achilles. Now Anna Simic. Well, for a number of years she was very much in the shadow of her compatriot, Blanka Vlasic, but uh, getting that medal at the 2014 European Championships really put the spotlight on her in her own individual right. A uh, good jump from her as well. Well, as I speculated, Beitia is not going to take this height. She's going to come in probably at 185. So we skip quickly after Simic to the second Ukraine jumper in this field, Oksana Okoneva. Okoneva, Europe. European under-23 silver medalist six years ago. So everybody over and the bar rises quickly to 1 meter 85. sixth at the last two European Championships outdoors although indoors she's got a rather more questionable record as failed to make the final at a few World Indoor Championships and European Indoor Championships also failed to make the final at four successive World Championships outdoors so Okaneva there's a little bit to prove here has done well in terms of competing regularly on the international circuit where she's been quite successful. So, Yulia Levchenko's turn. Seem to just turn into the bar rather too quickly. There's her coach, Irina Kustavite. Aruba now, one meter eighty five. Well, she had bags of height, but she took off so far away that she just clipped to the bar with her calves. Nevertheless, that shows her raw talent. Palsite's turn. Well, thanks to spare there. Not one of the quicker jumpers on the run-up, but she gets plenty of lift. Very tall athlete, 1 meter 87. Ruth Beatty is a few centimeters taller, but those are the two tallest women in this field. Jossie Grauman. By comparison, a relatively short 1 meter 75. Nice 
nicely over though from Grauman. Much quicker on the approach. Leans in a little bit with her shoulder but has enough height to clear the bar with some centimetres to spare. Now Morgan Lake, slightly untidy clearance at 180. She want to just do a little bit better here. And she does, that's a much better jump. jumpers in this final 1 meter 77 well that was just hurried and rushed the great right here in the high jump well Beatty has skipped the opening height of 1 meter 80, so this is her first jump off the competition. No problems for the Olympic champion. Nor should there be at this height, but... But she does have really wonderful consistency, doesn't she? I, I, it's a long time ago since she had a competition in which she did badly. I think so. Uh, well, having said that, she was fifth back in Prague two years ago. Yes, I suppose. Um, and uh, and is she that was bad? bitterly know, disappointed, yes. and that's yeah. actually acting as a yeah. quite a motivating force to regain her title here. Yeah, after five medals, I suppose fifth <laughs> isn't so good, yes. No, that was a bit down for her, because yeah, she'd done down. so consistently yeah. up until then. So, second attempt for last year's World Junior Bronze medalist, Yulia Levchenko. Has improved to 1m92 indoors this year. Does have a best of 195 outdoors. Ooh, that was a very, very good jump. She made very certain of clearing there. Lots of daylight. So now Anna Simic, the other jumper of the eight, all eight finalists still in contention to have a failure at her first attempt at 1 meter 85. Simic perhaps not jumping quite as well as she's done in previous years, but is here in the final and in very similar fashion, really pulls it on a bit and clears very nicely. So, good clearance there from Simic. Very, very similar jump to Yulia Levchenko, both in style and attitude. So, with all eight women at over 1 meter 85, the bar will go up to 189. Well, the European record is 2 metres 08 by the great Kaisha Bergfist, who we saw in the stadium yesterday. And I haven't seen her, but I'm pretty sure she's around somewhere. I don't think we'll be challenging that record. Uh, it's only one woman over 2 metres this year in Europe. Championship record of 205 by the great Tia Hellebutz, who was an Olympic champion herself. That came in 2007. Levchenko flies clear there. That really was a very committed jump. 
very nice jump indeed. A lot of daylight there. Now the tall, rangy Ruba. Lots of height, but it was in the wrong place. Well, she got a torso over the bar, but took it off with the back of her thighs. Got the high jump. There we go again. Yeah, crowd like that. So Anna Simic, no mistake this time after that failure at 1 meter 85. Although they're great rivals, there's plenty of support for the Croatians here in the arena. Yes, indeed. I haven't seen too many Croatian flags around, but yes, there has certainly been a lot of support for the Croatians. We've seen this morning some very, very hearty cheers for Stipe Zunic, who qualified in the men's shot put. Now, Oksana Okuneva completing the first attempts at 1 meter 89. And she's clear. Well, just to bring you up to date, Ruth Batia passed at this height, so she's going to come back in at 192. Five women clear. Ruba and Lake need second attempts. Second attempt for Morgan Lake in the women's high jump. Oh, it all goes wrong. Barely took off. So Lake, two failures now. We didn't see it, but Haruba had a second failure at this height. Well, she had no problem with 190 yesterday in qualifying. No, not at all, nor did Haruba. So the youngest woman in this field, Michaela Haruba, reigning World Youth and World Junior Champion. Well, <laughs> stays on. She's jumped a lot better than that, but it stayed on, and she continues in this competition. Third and final attempt at this height for Morgan Lake. <coughs> Lake, a Rio Olympic finalist in the high jump. And also won the world junior title in 214 at this event, but, well, that has to be disappointing. Because she's certainly capable of jumping this height. And as Peter commented quite rightly, she had no problems clearing 190 to get into the final. Couldn't quite produce it though on this occasion. Very disappointing. I mean, you have to remember she did 194 way back in uh, 2014 when she took the World Junior title. Still only 19 years of age though, so she'll have plenty of competitions in front of her. 
to banish the memories of a rather disappointing performance here. Seven women in the competition, though, as the bar goes up to 1 metre 92. Well, we jump forward. We haven't seen Yulia Levchenko go clear. Now we're with Michaela Aruba. Well, she had a few problems at the previous height. She brings the bar down with her first attempt here. And wh why the athletes are looking up, you may notice that as after they've uh, come off the high jump, but because they're looking up at the giant screen in the centre of the arena, up high, just to see what they've done. Yes, it's called the cube. It's a four-sided big giant screen. And they can see what we're seeing with replays of their attempts. Arian Palsite. Well clear over her first three jumps at 180, 185 and 189. Very nice jump indeed. So she's in pole position at this stage in the event. No failures to her name so far. And some very good jumping indeed from the Lithuanian. There's a coach, Tatiana Karaskien. And here's Josie Grauman. She's jumping well herself. This would equal her indoor best. Well, quick pattering style on the runner. I think she just rather hurried into that. So the first failure of the afternoon for Grauman. Two more attempts, though, at this height. Anna Simic, well, she went well clear at 1 metre 89. This would equal the season's best for the Croatian. No, never really got into the air. Gets the red flag. Now back into the competition after passing at 189, Ruth Batia. She cut that a little bit fine. It was rather flat, but got away with it. I think she had to slightly chop her last stride to make sure that she hit what she anticipates would be a mark. And that, I think, is what she's saying, is should I bring my back marks back a little bit? So the last athlete to jump in the first round of attempts at 1 meter 92, Oksana Okuneva. Nice jump there, that makes it two Ukrainians clear at this height. 
So at the first time of asking, Betia, Okaneva, Palsaite and Levchenko clear at 192. Grauman, Simic and Aruba to have second attempts. Of course, worth noting in passing, Nafi Tiam cleared 196 in the heptathlon high jump. Comes up in a couple of heights time. Michaela Haruba. Once again taking off far, far, far too far away. By the time her torso reaches the bar, her high point is not as high as the bar. So, second failure for Haruba. Grauman's turn. Well, we're cracking through this competition. Just 30 minutes of jumping so far. Oof. That was very close indeed. Oh, terrific third time clutch clearance there from Michaela Ruba. It took three attempts at both this height and the preceding height to get it right, but let's have a look at that replay. Lots of height there. She's the fifth woman clear at 1 meter 92. That's how to do it. He agrees. A, a relieved man as well as a happy man, I think. So that's a season's best indoors for Ruba. Now Yossi Grauman. And she's over. That's a nice jump there for Grauman. Well, that equals her personal best. Well, I don't think you can ask more than that to come to a major competition. When you certainly weren't even possibly a favourite to get into the final and jump 192. Never jumped higher than that indoors or out. And now Anna Simic, well, I think Simic should be saying to herself, follow that after Ruber and Grauman's third time clearances. <laughs> Not on this occasion. Well, she's won medals at European events in the past, but today she has to settle for seventh. So no less than six women will be attempting 1 meter 95. And again, she had the height over the bar, just needed to bring her legs through a bit quicker, a bit tidier. I think she'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Simic, the 11 times Croatian champion, I think came here hoping to do a little better. So, first attempt at 194, Levchenko brings it down. Bar just moving up now in two centimetre increments. Okay, the Hruba. Well, one meter ninety four would be a new indoor best. No. 
Irene Palsite, an important jump for her now. If she can go clear, it really gives her some command of this competition. No failures to her name so far. As we were saying, very much had a breakthrough year last year, the 24-year-old. Nicely over. That was a good job. Yeah, she really gets her arms working. She gets a lot of vertical lift. One of the taller athletes in this field, so tends not to be as quick as some of her shorter counterparts on the runner, but really gets everything moving. Rauman. First attempt at what would be a lifetime best indoors or out for the German. Well. Not a bad attempt, didn't get really enough lift. Two more attempts to go, though. Now, Ruth Batia rode her luck a little bit at the last height. Needs a good clearance here at the first attempt to stay with Ariane Palsite, who's flawless so far in this competition. Noticeable that she's not wearing her trademark sunglasses which we used to habitually see her wear indoors and out no that's a much better jump there very focused very concentrated just getting a bit to Reinforcement from her coach, Ramon Talalbo. The only coach she's ever had since her teenage years. Now the final woman for the first attempt at this height, Oksana Okaneva. Shot to stride there. So just two women clear, and those two women don't have any failures to their name so far. Olympic champion Ruth Batia and the European leader Alin Palsaiti. Palsaiti just missing out on the medals, as Batia did two years ago in Prague when she finished fourth. One place in front of Batia. So now Yulia Levchenko, second attempt. Looked very impressive at the earlier heights. The 19-year-old Ukrainian. Third at last year's World Junior Championships. Takes a much faster, tighter approach to the bar than some of the other women in this final. Oof. No. That was a bit of 
bit out of control from start to finish. Now Michaela Huber, a bit of an erratic competition, but she's still here. The World Youth and World Junior Champion from 2015 and 2016, respectively. Decent attempt, had plenty of height there. She can muster her resources. 94 shouldn't be beyond her. Has an outdoor best of 193, but this would be one centimetre below her lifetime best, which was achieved indoors. So, second attempt for Grauman. slowed down rather dramatically coming into the bar. Never really had the impetus to get the height. Final woman to take her second attempt at 1 meter 94, Oksana Okuneva. So just two women clear, Beitia and Palsaite, all women to take a third attempt at this height. I do hope it's one of these four clear it because to have a medal won at 192, especially after it looked so promising at the earlier heights, would be a bit of a surprise. So both Ukraine athletes in discussions with their respective coaches. Chenko seemingly getting a few more notes than her compatriot, Okuneva. And it's Lemchenko who will be the first to jump out of the four women requiring third attempts at this height. Yes, well done. <laughs> Total commitment there, and she was rewarded with a magnificent clearance and a personal best. Well, she's got an outdoor best of 195, but this is an indoor best. <laughs> and Kampok Suna. Okuneva is also very pleased for the Ukraine athlete. Well, now three women clear. Oh, bags of height there for Uber, but once again, a high point wasn't enough and the, the bar came down. Keeps on dragging it off with the back of her thighs.
third attempt for Grauman. No, not today. Nevertheless, a good competition for Jossie Grauman, equaling her personal best of 192. So she's out of the medals, but can feel pleased with herself. Solid competition from Grauman. Oksana Okaneva. Third and final attempt. No. Well, three women over, one metre 94. So we know who's going to be on the podium. What order still to be decided? Ruth Batia from Spain, Ariane Palsaite from Lithuania. They're flawless up to and including 194. Levchenko from Ukraine, the 19-year-old Ukraine athlete, has failures during the competition, so she's in third place at the moment. Julia Levchenko, the first to jump at 1m96, assured of a medal, the 19-year-old. Well, just sort of rushed into it, I su suspect slightly emotionally drained after clearing 194. This would be a personal best under any conditions. Cite. This would be a question of laying down the gauntlet to Beitia. Flawless so far, the 2016 European silver medalist. And indeed she finished behind Beitia. Marvellous series of jumps so far. But this is where the colour of the medals is going to be decided. <laughs> nice clearance. The bar wobbles just a bit. Now, let's see how Ruth Beatty responds to that. Well, everything seemed to go well there for Palsite. Now the Olympic champion. Ooh, close, but just clips it off with her heels. So Beitia now in the silver medal position. Beitia and that Levchenko, two more attempts at this height. Yes, I wonder if... Uh, hmm, I was just wondering if Beitia might uh, pass up to 198, but there is still Levchenko there, of course. She's a past master at passing. However, as you rightly say, I think it would be in her interest to have at least one more attempt at this height. Levchenko, second attempt at 1m96. Going into new territory. Very close indeed for Levchenko. That was a good attempt there. Much better than a first effort.
Very exaggerated back arch, just clipping it off with the heels. Well, I wonder if she could have ever imagined coming here and getting a medal. She was even only second at the Ukraine Championships a few weeks ago. So now Ruth Batia. Close with the first attempt. Getting the crowd behind her. Not too many Spanish travelling supporters, but nevertheless a very popular and recognisable figure across European athletics. No, not even as good really as her first attempt. Didn't quite have enough height. So, Palcite. A few nail-biting minutes as Betia and Levchenko take their third attempts. Betia, the 2013 champion, and prior to that one, four silvers and a bronze. Three silvers and a bronze, I should say. Just reading my notes. Had a run of five successive championships on the podium before dropping back to fifth in Prague two years ago. Barely half the age of Ruth Batia. No. Had a good second attempt though, that was probably the worst of her three efforts, but still a fantastic performance there from the teenager from Ukraine. Third last year at the World Junior Championships and third here at the European Indoor Championships. Well, Ukraine over the years have produced many fine female high jumpers and indeed a few good men as well. I think we're going to see much more of this woman in the years to come. She, of course, has the European Under-23 Championships to focus on later in the summer. Where she'll go to Poland as one of the favourites for a medal. Now, Ruth Batia. She's assured of the silver medal. If she clears, the bar rises to 1 meter 98. this year already no so gold goes to Lithuania Arian Palsite will see the Lithuanian flag raised in her honour later on today silver the sixth medal at the European Athletics Indoor Championships for Ruth Batia and bronze to the teenage Ukrainian Yulia Levchenko However, Palsate isn't finished yet. Well, just to recap on Betia, that's her sixth European indoor medal. And, uh, well, five, four women have got more, but those are in the days when they were held annually. So, um, you know, this is a record in the biannual era. I just love the way she's been enjoying competing. Getting sporting support from the other medalists, Levchenko and Betia, sitting on the bench there in the middle of the arena.
Well, that's the first failure in this competition for Palsite. The coach is just saying, just calm down just a little bit. Which, of course, she has taken a big jump by adding five centimetres to the height, quite rightly, to have a go at a new best new record. Yes, there wouldn't be any value, really, in attempting 198, which would be the next bar progression if there had been more than one athlete in the field. How's you Ukrainian, Peter? Can you interpret what they were saying? I didn't know. <laughs> well, there was further congratulations, <laughs> I don't know. But there they were, third and fourth. Anyway, I know that. The reverse order, perhaps, of their sort of overall status in Ukraine. Oh, so yes, it's changed. Uh, uh, the youngster comes through. Okoneva won the Ukraine title and Levchenko was second. As you say, on the international stage, it's a, a reversal of fortunes. Picture of Michaela Haruba. Alcite just composing herself for a second attempt at two metres one. <laughs> now she's already won her first major international title, following on from her silver medal. There's the rest of the women clapping along with the crowd. Oh, and she goes clear, a magnificent jump. She can't believe it. A national record to go with her gold medal. Understandably thrilled and delighted. And that was a terrific jump. Absolutely got it right, spot on. Didn't even graze the bar. And there was a centimetre or two to spare all the way over from head to toe. I wasn't sure she was going to do it after a rather lacklustre first attempt, but she proved me wrong. Well, I'm not sure she's going to go any higher. Wrapped in the U Lithuanian flag. What a superb performance. And very much the deserved winner of this high jump competition. First gold medalist on this, the second day of the European Athletics Indoor Championships. And that takes her into the all-time top 20 indoors um, in the world. Tears for her coach as well, who had the disappointment of seeing the former European silver medalist Stanis go out in qualifying this morning. But that is plenty of compensation for that. Everybody seems to be happy with what they got. Levchenko, delighted bronze medalist. As always, a smiling Ruth Batia, adding to her very, very formidable medal collection. And Lithuania's Ariane Palsite taking the gold. That's the first of a collection of field events completed. We get the women's triple jump underway in just a little over 10 minutes. And also shortly after that, the women's pole vault, both going on virtually simultaneously in the indoor arena here, the Pombank Arena in Belgrade. 
opportunity for just to say a big thank you to the European Athletics commercial partners, La Gruyere, Spa and Eurovision. Just one little bit of action before those next events. We are due to have the victory ceremony for the men's 60 metre hurdles from yesterday. And our first track action here in the arena will be at 16.35 Central European time. And it's now about, what, 15.40. So just a little less than an hour away when we'll start the sprinting, the men's semi-finals of the 60 metres. 18.35 Central Europe. 18.35, what did I say? Six <laughs> calculating there but yes 18.35 but just less than an hour away but until now we've just been enjoying uh, all the field event action and plenty more to come of that and uh, we both uh, very much appreciate following that the drama can build in a way that it can't always in the track events over a protracted period of time there we see the confirmed results. Gold going to Lithuania. Palsite clearing a European leading mark of two metres and one. 